right before my first interview in this room, my friend Amanda Decadene, who came on for the interview, she grabbed me by the hand. She said, "Let's just tune in because the energy in this room is funky." Uh, you know, we have we we have lovely Wolf here today. We've got a lot of faith in him, so we're leaning into that. And everything technically seems to be working right now, so we're going to lean into that. And I can shift my energy around what I walked in with right here, right now. And in shifting my energy, I can actually manifest a really good episode. I can manifest a really great show. I can manifest a lot of healing and support. Whereas if I hadn't been in tune with that energy, if I hadn't had the awareness of what my energy is doing in this moment and how I can adjust it, then I'm going to manifest more of what I don't want. I'll probably manifest more tech issues today. I would manifest just a low vibe energy. I would show up for this feeling a little bit funky and everything would feel really off. So recognizing and accepting that manifesting is merely the energetic reaction and response to what our energy is putting out. Is manifesting real? Hell yes. And it's a lot more simple than we make it. But it's the folks out there that are constantly saying things to themselves like, hey, you know, I'm going to think it and then it's going to happen. Or the more I talk about something, the more it's going to happen. Or if I make a vision board, something's going to happen. That is when manifesting becomes like a game. And that's not how it works. Manifesting is really accepting the power of your energy and learning the tools and the methods to realign with the energy of joy, the energy of love, the energy of grace, the energy of inner peace, the energy of simplicity and relaxation. And in that place of genuine grace, we have the power to start to be the conductor of the world that we see and co-create our reality rather than be the victim of the world we see because we're not caring for our energetic state.